Hello everyone, welcome back to the TZF channel. Today we are joined here by two guests, Forrest Lelane and Denny Lee. Today the topic is whether or not paranormal activity actually exists. Boris, what's your take? I believe that uh, there's definitely things that we don't understand in this world. Uh, one thing that I had heard was a long time ago was even though like a lot of like uh, cultures in the ancient world weren't connected to each other, yeah. they shared similar ideas such as the dragon, right? Even though I'm going to use the examples of uh, the Middle Ages idea of the dragon and the Chinese idea of the dragon. Okay. You know what I mean? Even though like they're both very different, they still kind of had the same idea going for them. So what was that idea of the dragon? Uh, like. Well, the dragon symbolized different things for those cultures. The, for China, I believe it was something more like strength. It was one of their more important symbols, whereas for in the Middle Ages, it was like a sign of like greed and possibly many other things, considering there's always a princess and like <laughs> gold trapped in there, right? All right. But so like, I have a question for you, though. What up, bro? So you clearly believe in this. Have you ever experienced it yourself? Uh, funny you ask. I actually have been possessed once. Whoa. All right. Uh, as many of you may know, I am a Haitian American, <laughs> and I know many other <laughs> Haitian people, right? So That's what had happened, uh, I was living uh, a long time ago, my, uh, me, my family and I were living with another family. Okay. And uh, what ended up happening was, I'm going to give like the short version of the story because it could go on forever. But what ended up happening was, uh, I, had, like, I ended up like stealing someone's food, and because of that, <laughs> they had like possessed me, right? <laughs> They had like done something that made it so every day at like noon and at midnight, <laughs> I would have like these like, tr like, like spastic like seizures and like I would vomit sometimes as well. I hope they're not still friends of your family, man. They are definitely not. <laughs> Especially not after the way my dad ended it. He uh, ended it by saying that if this continues, I'm going to kill you. But like it's a long story. All right. So now I'm going to ask you, Denny. Do you believe in paranormal activity? No. I don't think so because like um, I would say that one would be like the videos that we saw and the movies that we you know, like what doing. kind of videos like um, cha um, Bloody Mary challenges Charlie Charlie challenges the elevator challenges etc um, I, I think that they're all like edited they're not actually real they're like fake videos for per se they say that they've seen um, for example in the elevator challenge they see a woman entering the elevator yeah. while they're pressing a specific floor but really, it's like, what I think of it is they are edited in the video. And one of them uh, with the, uh, another example is a 24-hour challenge uh, where they go into a haunted house. They sleep there for a night and in the morning see if they have actually seen any paranormal activity happening around them. But what I think of after seeing that is um, they're also edited too because like the ghost, they can be, um, videos you can manipulate and put a ghost in. That's All right. Take it. So as you probably know, um, a lot of cultures believe that when you don't properly bury, bury someone, that they can turn into a zombie. Do you believe in that? Mm, no. Like if you just properly just leave them there, you don't bury them properly or put enough dirt on them. Mm. I would say like, um, like it's not like The Walking Dead. Come on. Uh, don't. Go on. Yeah. Um, so. That's my take of it. It's not like that, like where they actually come up from the dead and then start haunting people. Boris, why, why do you think he's wrong? I believe he's wrong because like I do agree, like all those videos, like right, I never believe like any of those like videos because like it's like you said, any video, any video can be edited, right? Yeah. But I do believe that there are most, like I believe he's wrong because there are things that we just can't understand, right? Like. To the extent, like, even science admits that there are things we can't understand. Like, there's a popular theory called, like, a string theory that believes that there are particles we just haven't even discovered yet. And, like, right, whenever these particles vibrate, it makes other particles, like photons, something we do know exists, vibrate. Right. And then that makes something else work. I believe that, like, there's, like, too much in this world we don't know to just say flat out that there's, like, nothing above nature that we, that we uh, fully understand. All right. Well, do you guys both believe in God? Like that there's a bigger purpose, like a higher being? I can't answer that because I have, a, I have a parents that one believes in one God and the other one believes in the other, but I don't follow it. But they both believe in a God. Yeah. But e even if it's different. Yeah. So if that's the case, then your family kind of believes in paranormal activity because you can't, you can't describe 
religion. You can't describe gods or anything. It's just it's something that we can't relate to. It's something that we can't see. So that's kind of like paranormal activity. Am I right? Well, it's more like a like a um, how do you say it? A theory, maybe. I don't know how to explain that. Um, so it's like um, what you're taught as a religion. Um, it goes through your mind, not like what's happening around you. I, 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 is that? Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, like I think, like, like are you trying to say, like, uh, when you're taught, like, when you're taught a religion at a young age, they don't teach you to question the belief. They just yeah, teach yeah. you that it's there. They, yeah. don't, they never give you like empirical evidence saying that it exists. Yes, yeah, exactly. So, do you question your parents' religion then? Yeah. And do you consider yourself an atheist, someone that doesn't really um, believe in God? I would say fifty-fifty. Fifty-fifty. Yeah, because sometimes I do follow it, but like I do have to question them. Right. Sometimes. I can respect that. I respect someone that is that has their own mind, that has their own opinion, and wants to see things for themselves instead yeah. of believing in exactly. what their family believes in. Forrest, what's your take on that? Uh, I'm the same as Denny. I'm also. Uh, I'm. I would categorize myself as like uh, agnostic or like, I guess like mm -hmm. an omnitheist is a term I've heard thrown around. I believe that there are like, so many different religions that you can't say one is correct. That there is like there is likely to be a higher power or some sort of like entity or when I say entity I mean like something like a uh, nirvana or heaven like something that we don't fully something that we can't measure. I believe there's something like that out there. I don't believe any one belief has it right. Uh, something that I do believe a lot is um, the idea of um, deism, which yeah. is like uh, a long time ago. Like people just said, like yeah, God just set everything into motion, but other than that, He hasn't done anything. Listen, Boris, for your sake, I actually hope there's a God, because after hearing your story, I'd, I'd hope that the God was looking out for you mm -hmm. and trying to, like, get rid of that person, because <laughs> that person's not a good person, Yeah, man. not at all. You like, can't I, go around cursing people. Like, I was, like, three. I don't know what I did. I just took, like, a piece of meat off their plate. That's literally it. <laughs> you know, it's, it's funny, because I believe in a bigger being. I believe in paranormal activity, because a ghost, I think a ghost does exist, but to a certain extent, like... I feel like there's people, there's different dimensions, there's like different realms, different worlds, and we can't see it. And just because we can't see it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Of course, of course. What do you think about that? I mean, I would say it's like more of a, uh, uh, how do you say it? Uh, like, do you believe in different dimensions? Well, kind of, but then i say, I would say I would, I would agree to that, but like, um, it's gonna be, it's gotta be proven. Well, unfortunately, that's all we have for today. Thank you for tuning in. You can follow us on Facebook, and you can look us up on YouTube. Give us a share, give us a shout-out, and comment. We'd love to hear your comments. Thank you.